Hello everyone and welcome to the Crafty Maven Getaway. Today is Free Flow Wednesday and I have a process video for you. I'm going to start by showing you how I altered some wood veneers using some washi tape and some Distress paint daubers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give these to a dipped look and then this one I'm going to fill that middle portion of it with sequins because sequins are my jam. So here are the products I'm going to use to create my layout. Uh, a lot of products from my stash, some products from the Felicity Jane um, kit that Sue's Fish designed last year, I believe, and some 6x6 paper pads. And I'm going to create a layout using a go-to design for me. This is something that I do quite often. It's one of my favorite designs, and if I could, <laughs> all my pages would use this design. If I wasn't so scared that I would get bored with it. Um, so I have one 4x4 four four photo here. This is of my son and my nephew. Um, they have a rather large age gap, so the fact that they were on the floor playing together was kind of unique. I went ahead and wrote my journaling onto a gray piece of pattern paper and then cut it into some journaling strips. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere those journaling strips to one of those four uh, squares of paper that I trimmed from my collection. I think most of these papers are from, hmm, Take Me Away, I believe. I think that's where they're from. Uh, so now I have all my journaling strips down and I've gone ahead and inked all of my edges with, with some vintage photo distressing and I'm just going to add my little dated title right there at the bottom. And I'm ready to move on. So what I did was when I cut those 4x4 four four patterns from the 6x6 six six paper pad, to create my four squares. I kept all of the scraps and the reason I did that is because I want to create some layers behind these four um, squares and I'm going to, I, I don't want to keep the, the layout linear so I love it when the, the squares kind of break out of their um, designated spots on uh, grid layouts. I really really love um, a four square grid layout. I think it's just wonderful. I have a couple layout designs that I really find that I love to use and this is probably one of them. Another one would be an L-shaped layout which I had no I have done on this channel a couple of times as well so those are kind of like I love the linear look of layouts. I like when things are start I love when layouts start with bones of just very linear and then like here with these pattern paper uh, offcuts, I'm like breaking out of the box, if that makes sense. <laughs> that sounds kind of silly. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do this to all four of these uh, squares. I'm going to add some layers behind them and then I'm also going to go ahead and pump, pop out, punch out some circles. Um, also the same thing just to keep the layout from looking boring and add an element of a little bit of a surprise to it. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to some embellishments. So I pulled some embellishments from my stash. Some of these are from the chipboard, sheets from Take Me Away, um, that bow is from Take Me Away, um, the Dear Lizzie vinyl stickers, which I would love to get used up. They're from the Saturday collection, but I just don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling those vinyl stickers. And then I have these gorgeous flares from uh, accent scrapbooking and I love these flares. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. They have these cute little foxes on them and I just I, I thought they would be perfect and I love aquas and oranges together. So yeah, this layout, that little acrylic piece is from Felicity Jane, the puffy stickers. So we have primarily a lot of Felicity Jane products and Take Me Away products and then the flares. So I'm just going to go ahead and decide on how I want to embellish these two kind of empty squares that I have. I know I can put some larger embellishments in there. And I also have that big wood veneer piece that I put all the sequins on. And I definitely want to make sure that I include that onto this layout since I took the time to glue on all those teeny tiny sequins. Um, yeah, and I'm really loving the aqua and the orange and the black and white photo. I think this layout came out super cute and fun. I really like it. And so yeah, I'm so glad you're joining me today at the Scrappy or at the Crafty Maven Getaway. Um, 
You can also, if you like my videos and like my style, feel free to pop over to my channel and subscribe. I'm doing a video a day challenge in um, the month of July. So this is my 12th video that I've done this month. And um, I am super impressed that I've gotten this far, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm super impressed. Um, and so I'm just adding those little puffy stickers are from Heidi Swap. I think I got them at a I got them at Michael's, I think. Every so often. So my Michaels and Joanne's kind of is like terrible. But sometimes, every once in a while, I hit the hit them at just the right time and I find some fun things. And that's what happened this day when I bought these puffy stickers. Um, I just happened to hit um, my Michaels and my Joann's just at the right time when they had gotten in a lot of new merchandise and they had a lot of things on clearance and I bought a nice, had a nice haul <laughs> at Michaels and Joann's that day and didn't spend a lot of money so that was really awesome. And so I'm just adding little puffy stickers and I'm going to add some little, um, I don't remember if I add those enamel dots, I don't think I actually ended up adding the enamel dots. I think I ended up going with a sprinkle of sequins instead. And there they are, yes. I decided to go with a sprinkle of orange sequins instead of the enamel dots. I do love my enamel dots. I also really love my sequins. So I, I love the little, tiny little dotty embellishments. I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but they're lovely. And I think that that's it. That will complete this layout. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today at the Crafty Maven Getaway. Make sure to run over to our Facebook group because um, I'll have a little discussion going on about altering wood veneers today. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye.